Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We greet you in his name. We thank God for you. We're praying for you. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. This is our core, C-O-R-E, Continuing Order Religious Education. And we want you to uh, be still and know that he is God. Now, in Galatians chapter 6, one of my favorite chapters, Paul gives us some insights to carrying the cripple. And what Paul does is that he says, if conditional, if a brother or sister is overtaken in a fault, you that are spiritual restore with meekness. And in the context of Galatians 6, Paul is talking about, first of all, caring. Uh, he's talking about caring, bearing, and sharing. And the caring is we care for one another by not being judgmental, not beating them over the head with the word, um, not criticizing them. But if they fall, and we all fall, if they fall, restore them. Restore them, restore their confidence, restore them from their conflict. And Paul says, if a brother or sister is overtaken in the fall, Let's say somebody has failed, somebody has, uh, has a faulty view of themselves, they're depressed, then you come along and comfort them. Comfort them. Come alongside as the paraclete, the Holy Spirit does us, and comfort them. Uh, we carry one another. There is in the Gospels a narrative where Jesus was preaching and the crowd was so great that uh, they couldn't get these four guys had a friend on a stretcher. They couldn't get him in before Jesus, so they took him up to the rooftop and lowered him down. And Jesus said, it is because of their faith that I'm healing you. They're the four that carried you. So as you carry your kids, you carry your husband, your wife, you carry your family, we have to be willing to carry people into the presence of God by prayer, by encouragement, and, and whatnot. We gotta carry people. I pray for my kids every morning that they would walk according to the Lord's will and forgive me their sins and so forth. I'm praying for others, not just for myself. So we gotta carry, he's talking about carrying, uh, bearing, bearing their burden and in the military you had you had uh you had to carry a backpack you had to carry a backpack you had to carry one another then you had to carry your own backpack and there are times when we have to carry our own trials and tribulations and he says the bearing is i ought to help bear your burden as i love you when you're going through, I'm going through. When you're down, I'm down. When you're, uh, you know, overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. So I, I lock and load with you, and I'm bearing, help to bear your burden, but you got to bear your own backpack. And he's dealing with the bearing. He's dealing with the caring, and he's dealing with the sharing. We ought to share love for one another. Most of us are selfish. We, we really we're all about me, myself, and I. And so what we got to start learning is how to care about others, how to carry others, how to bear with others. And um, and you do that by not just voicing it, I'm, I'm going to be bearing it. No, you do that by coming alongside sometimes, just being quiet, and but being visible. I know when people die, you don't always hit them with a sermon. You just have let them feel your presence, that you're there, you love them, and you know you're for them. And uh, one of the ways that we communicate care is that we make a suggestion. Have you ever thought about this? Have you ever thought about that? And as our children get older, we have to not demand and not command, but we got to suggest. Have you ever thought about this? You know, so one of the things that Paul is saying is the caring, the bearing, and the sharing. And the sharing is not is is not just money. The sharing is love. We have to share love with one another. Okay, 
And uh, sometimes you just have to tell people I'm praying for you and, and leave it at that, okay? They need to know somebody cares. And um, when I feel crippled, I need somebody to come alongside of me and be willing to restore me, somebody to care, share, and help bear my burdens, okay? For years, I pastored this church and people would lose their parents and I say, I'm sorry to hear about that, but I never experienced it. And until you experience something, you really don't know what they're going through. You think you do. When I lost my parents, then I knew what it meant to lose somebody I love with all my heart. I'm going to see them again. They're in glory. They're with Jesus. But I then began to relate to people that no longer had their parents. And sometimes God's got to take us through something so we can relate to others. So one of the things I want you to focus on from Galatians 6 is carrying the cripple. All of us are crippled to some degree. Crippled psychologically, emotionally, mentally, physically. We're just crippled. We're, we're a crippled human race. And if you can come alongside and help somebody carry them, care, share, and bear, you will make them a better person. And they will love you for it. Don't always have a sermon. Just situate yourself that you're in their presence and that you love them. Thank you. Have a great day. Practice what we preach.